gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to day number 85. Another day in the trenches. Today is Wednesday. Nice, nice easy day. Okay, no double trainings today for your boy over here. Just one. One nice training. Oh, that's not gonna... No, I'll be right back. I have to shovel some snow really quick so I can help out my mom to be able to pull out of the garage here. I'll be right back. Come back. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Back out here real quick. All right, I got a good song for you guys today. I just got back out of the garage here, and uh, we'll we'll cue it up for you. Okay, it's gonna get us. It's really gonna get us going for today. You know, really get this day started right. You should have said no. You should have gone home. You should have thought twice before you let it all go. Alrighty, Rumba. We're off to the Jimba. She's nice and uh, nice and snowy out today. There's a, there's a good good batch of snow that we got last night. And, oh, yeah, <laughs> should probably drive with a little bit more caution. Here's one question I'm gonna gonna answer today that uh, everyone always everyone always seems to ask me. You know, DMs in person, whatever, doesn't matter. It's like, what's what's my plans in life if I don't go to the Olympics? Which is always just you know, when I was younger, I just said, oh, I don't I don't have any. Like I'm just gonna I'm gonna go to the Olympics. And then as I got older, I realized uh, I just needed to give people some sort of answer. But the the true answer is now obviously obviously there's like a plan for after. But like I'm gonna go. It doesn't matter which one I go to. I'm going. But everyone would always ask like, what? Oh, what are you gonna do like if you don't go? Like, and I was always just like, ah, such a shitty mindset to me. Like you're already planning for failure you're already planning to lose like what happens when you lose like just don't plan to lose it's like uh, one quote I said I said it in a, a video a few videos back burn the boats and that quote means to cut off all chances of retreat you know there's no going back there's only going forward towards whatever the goal is and to just place all your money on succeeding that's it burn the boats success is the only option that's it but then people would all, like because there was points where I said like oh no I'm going like 100% like that's what I tell people and they're like well but like what if what if I'm like no I'm going say like, oh well plans change I hate that saying plans change plans don't change okay they don't just like coincidentally up and like leave like plans change because you decided they would change maybe it was for the better maybe it was for the worse sometimes your plans change for the better and then you said like oh plan the plans changed like like yeah because you changed them because there's always so many people out there that had these big goals of doing big things when they were younger and, and then they get older and people ask them like oh why aren't you doing that anymore why is this not and it's like oh plan plans changed like no you just you change you changed your plans your plans didn't change on their own like for example you know some people when they're really young they'll say like oh I don't plan on moving I don't plan on moving out of the country or out of the province and then when they get older they end up moving out and it's like oh plans changed and then this one's for the better obviously it's not like a bad thing to move but like your plans didn't just change like your mindset and perspective on life and all that kind of changed and you decide you wanted other things but my other example before where I said plans change and you want to be like a millionaire you want to have this rock and muscular body and then oh plans change like nope, nope I feel like I kind of rambled on with that one and the only reason you didn't follow through with your plans most of the time like 99% of the time it's just out of fear you know fear of failure and that uh, leads me to this beautiful quote that I heard in a movie one time I haven't memorized now because I just loved it so much it was in uh, a movie Will Smith is in with his son that earth movie or whatever the quote goes fear is not real the only place that fear can exist is in your thoughts of the future fear is a product of your imagination causing you to fear things that at present and may not ever exist but don't get me wrong danger is very real but fear fear is a choice love it I've memorized it's good stuff but yeah we're at the gym red zone dead zone kill zone or zone let's get to work shall we all right, we are in the gym. Good stuff. Let's get some music going here. It's real quiet. We're starting off on a high bar. Such a beautiful event. A fun, fun event. We're gonna go with either hard style or mashups. Oh, there's no sleeping in when you're an alcoholic, Lois. You just never go to sleep. All right, I'm hoping, hoping we do some dismounts. Yeah, let's warm up and get started. 
Oh yeah, one thing I want to add to the car ride talk because I feel like uh, I feel like I didn't word everything properly. Usually I word everything properly and I say everything the way I want to say it, but I feel like for some reason this car ride I just kind of spewed out a bunch of words, but didn't form it properly. You know, this is just one little thing I want to add. The whole um, how I said uh, you know the plans change thing. If you have plans when you're a kid and then you end up getting older and your plans change completely different and you have some completely different life, if you're happy where you are in life, it's good. That's the goal. Okay, that's the goal in life is to be happy where you're at. Because I don't want. I'm not trying to say if you were a child and you said, oh, I want to be a fucking trillionaire and you didn't become a trillionaire, but you're still happy with your life. There, you're good. That's fine. Okay, good. I just need to, I feel like that's the main point that I kind of messed up not getting across. And also another thing, if you don't like the motivational talks that I do in the car ride, is there's this unreal thing you can do. Just listen, right? You're right. You can just skip over it. It's just a YouTube video. You can literally just double tap the screen five times. Boom. You're past the car ride video. You can watch the other parts of it. Or if you don't like my videos, just don't watch them. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, get started. Okay, my hands, I just did like, I don't know, 30 swings. Oh, so sore. I don't even know why. Oh, I, I know why. Let me explain it to you. You know, you know when you're sick? Obviously not me, because I don't get sick, but if I <laughs> if I were to have gotten sick, you know, usually if I ever if I ever did, usually what happens for me though is uh, I know it's my like whole recovery process of my muscles and my hands and everything about my body. It's just nothing recovers like at all. So like everything Usually I would like train and my body would like get destroyed like that and then like I would go to sleep and it would heal up and then it would like kind of just go back and forth like always staying hurt and like sore but like it would just get better each day but kind of worse and you know but when I'm sick it seems like I'll train, I'll go to sleep, nothing will recover and it'll just get worse the next day and like I don't know if you know what I mean you know like my hands soreness usually I would wake up the next day boom they're fine not today and like my body just feels like off oh, like I just got a big fucking bar fight with the bouncers you know so yeah that's deadly Nice hair, loser. Holy. Okay. Ah, the best way to to warm up the body is to do a Coleman. So let's do a Coleman. Yikes. I could have caught it. I didn't want to catch it. I had no intention of really catching it. But like it was perfect distance for me to just like reach my other hand and catch it. Should have, should have just, should have caught her. Deadly. Yeah, I just watched it back. How dumb that looks. I should have just hit him with one of these. It's okay. I didn't want, I didn't want to catch it anyway. Actually, I actually didn't want to. I always warm up with missing it. Sometimes I'll catch it in the warm up if it like feels really good. Usually I just intentionally miss it though. You guys know the TikTok dance for that song? I can't remember it, but like, there, there was one. But anyways, we got the mat set up there, because Wednesday is supposed to be dismount day. I'm hoping I can hit that, hit that like arch in the shoulder there, without it absolutely destroying my shoulder. If it does hurt, I hit at least one good one, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, we got calm next week, so I don't really want to like, abuse something that doesn't really need abusing. But yeah, let's uh, kind of just do like one of each skill, a little thing, you know, a little, a little in bar routine, you know, endos, two path, stall their dismount, maybe a Coleman Catch, yeah. Ah, this one was good. Felt great. Felt great. Million bucks. Six zeros. Ah, deadly. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it was just uh, just the first one. You know, first one, you just need to really, you just get, uh, get it out of the system, stretch it out, it's gonna hurt. So, we're good now. We're good now. Hell happened there? What in the hell? My lining is just full. Oh, I don't felt so good, so I like opened up and stuff. Bad, bad call. This one was good. I just needed to stay normally, like how I normally stay, and it would have been fine. But I like opened up and got got too confident. This chair was alright though. Oh, thank God I got a massage today, cause uh, yeah, whatever. 
I'm right in there. Hurt my lower back. I really just kind of let everything loose. Not like intentionally, but didn't feel great. All right, now we're gonna go Coleman dismount. And if you're a non-gymnast, I don't think I've ever said in the videos, uh, if you're not a gymnast, Coleman is uh, when I go flip over the bar and I do a back full and then I catch it again. That's called Coleman. Learn something new every day. Uh, it was weird. I watched it back. I was like, everything was perfect. Um, I kind of just, instead of grabbing like that, I hit here and then my hand slid down so it doesn't really give me enough time to readjust because my body weight's already given into the bar so it's kind of just pulling through. Darn. This, that was better, caught it, did the flips. Felt, felt off. I think it's just cause, uh, I don't know how to explain the energy level to you guys. I'm the only one here, man. It's how you know, tough it is to motivate yourself. Self-motivating yourself is fucking, it's a thing that very few people can do. I'm good at it, I'm good at it. But like, no one here to push me to do an extra turn. No one here to push me to train harder. No one here to push me to do anything. It's me, me and the, me and the voices in my head. You know, there's 10 of them. One of them just hums the whole time, you know, crazy little scamp. It's a joke, there's no voices in my head, okay? Sometimes I make that joke and people think I'm serious, I'm not, okay? Or, or am, am, am I? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm kidding. And so if you ever noticed, I'm really talkative with the camera on these Wednesdays because there's no one in here to talk to. That's why I started. That's why my first vlog ever was on a Wednesday. On a day like this, my hands were hurting. I had no one to like vent to or anything. So I just started venting to the camera. And then for some reason, I went home and I edited the video and posted. I'm like, oh, let's do it again tomorrow. And then the next day, and the next day, and now we're on day 85 or whatever. It's weird. Weird how it all started. Yeah, it started on a day like this. No one in here. Had no one to talk to but the camera. So that's why I talk extra on Wednesdays. But yeah, last term was good. It was good stuff. Quality. Quality turns. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's scrattle. Let's skedaddle. Let's get another turn in, shall we? We're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna try something. It's a secret. Okay, you'll see. so annoying. Right as I looked up to the bar to switch my hand for that first thing I did where I end up in my legs, chalk went right in my eye. So it was just like, oh yeah, let's just keep it closed for the whole turn. It was good. We're gonna finish on that turn. That turn's fine. All the other turns were good. Wednesday's an easy day. And we did a fair amount of, fair, fair amount of stuff. Not a good amount, not a bad amount, just a fair amount. So yeah, it's good. It's enough high bar. Let's go to Tattoo Rings, the floor and vault tomorrow. No need for Palmo because I'm fucking 100% ratio on those routines. Let's go, let's go to P-Bars, I guess. I feel like Wednesdays just turned into P-Bars and high bar day. Whatever. They need work. They all need work. They always all need work. You can always be better. You can always be improving. Once you're satisfied, that's when you get comfortable. Once you get comfortable, dreams die. All right. Good stuff. All right. Oh, yeah. Mint. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Get. Good P bars. All right, it's called Wednesday dismount day for reasons. So we're just gonna do dismounts on P bars. I like, I kind of want to do like a diameter off and a dismount, but I'm not really feeling that whole idea of uh, doing swings like that at this current moment. Maybe, maybe five turns, and we'll think, think, we'll think, we'll see, we'll see about it. But yep, I think I just need to get some like T Swift going, you know, get me really hyped up in the mood. All right, let's warm up. Let's let's get started. Hey Siri, Siri, hey Siri, play Taylor Swift. Okay, Taylor Swift did a great song for uh, warm up, warm up music, okay? But I need to amp it up a little with a bit of uh, with an ad, yep. That really went well with me pointing over there in an ad to play. Five more seconds. Okay, I really need to amp it up with some art style. There we go. Presentation. 
Okay, that was warm-up set. I intentionally over-rotated, because uh, if you've been watching for a while, for some reason, all my first dismount are uh, straight to my hands and knees, and I just destroy my ankles, so I figured, let's just over-rotate the first one, you know? And uh, to kind of change it up, I probably should have been doing this every time I've done pirouette dismounts. See that reverse pirouette I did? The way I did the pirouette, that's my bad way, but technically, when I do day on the off one and a quarter, I'll catch it like that and step in that way. So it's good practice. It's like the step in that I'll feel before my last skill, right before dismount. So it's just to get that same mental kind of feeling and stepping like that right before I do my dismount. So a few, a few sets of that. I don't make mistakes. I'm not just like the rest of you. I'm better. I am better. Oh, that hurt, that hurt so much. I guess I just can't avoid a turn like that. But that's okay, it's okay, just keep going. That was better, it didn't hurt. All right, Mark was vacuuming, but next set. Uh. <coughs> and they, I just want to hit one, one nice set, and then we'll be golden. Finish on a stick there. Nice. All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. That's the end of training. Finished on a stick on P-bars. No need to do any more. Rather finish on a on a good note. High bar was good. That one ping was kind of funny. I don't know what happened there, but it was funny. Makes for a good clip. Uh, high bar was good. P-bars was good. No need to do palmo. I'm already pretty deadly with palmo, so you know. But yeah, time to go get my massage. Thank God my body feels we're done training, so I don't have to do the whole mindset thing. My body feels like ass, bro. Feels like I got that shit beating out of me. So yeah, let's go. Let's stretch for the last little bit here and then uh, go get my massage. So deadly day, casual day, easy day. Uh, before I start high bar, by the way, I did like little physio things and stuff. I just don't record it because it's like I record enough throughout the week. I like to just record this so when I get home Wednesday, I can just quickly edit up this video, you know, less editing, shorter form, well, I don't know. It makes it a little easier in all aspects of videoing, editing, and training, you know? But yeah, it was a good day. All in all, solid, solid stuff, especially considering how, how I, uh, how I, I don't get sick, but if I were and I were to have a training like this, it would be this would be a pretty solid training for someone that would be sick, but I don't get sick. But anyways, that's the end of the video. If you watched the full video and enjoyed it, glad to hear that. If you watched the full video, comment the word time to bleed. Okay, we haven't actually done that one yet, which is just weird. So I guess for day number 85, time to bleed. Uh, T-I-M-E space T-O space B-L-E-E-D. Time to bleed. I, I love you.